So guys, are you ready to fall into stars with me? Well then, please keep on watching, because in today's video I will be reviewing for you brand new perfume release from the American indie brand Strangelove New York City that is called Fall Into Stars and at the moment it is hands down my most favorite wood-based perfume and if you love natural wood then it's gonna be the one for you as well so please keep on watching to find out more about it but before we get started I would like to ask everyone who is new here please subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love niche perfumery and you would like to be updated what's new in it and on that note let's fall into stars together guys and welcome to this review on my most favorite wood-based perfume at the moment which is of course from Strangelove New York City because this brand specializes in creating wood fragrances so far there are five fragrances in their collection and each of them highlights this amazing and complex material in the unique way now this is the bottle of fall into stars that comes in a box like this which gives me massive little prince vibes because look it is blue with golden stars on it. But before I get started with this perfume, I just want to say a couple of words regarding this brand. It was founded by Elizabeth Gaines and I have an amazing live interview with her on my Instagram in which she shares her story. So I highly recommend you to check it out. But also let's get started with the actual behind the scenes and why she fell in love with Oud which actually happened during the time as her friend asked her to help with business development and marketing for sustainable farming because her family owned agar wood tree plantations in Borneo that were producing sustainable wood and not only Elizabeth fell in love with wood but also they had 600 acre patchouli and vetiver plantation so as you can tell these ingredients they are rather intense and dominant they are quite heavy and so these perfumes are also quite dense and they are about wood, about natural, about sustainable wood and each of them really smells different although there is wood in them all and you know what not only they smell dense and heavy and rather rich and you know quite um, on the base notes side because you know these are not light and ethereal fragrances they have a lot of power to them and a lot of times they smell like aphrodisiacs to me because in their fragrances they use not only wood but also ambergris or is butter lots of pretty intense floral materials other woods and balms so the luxury quality in these fragrances speaks for itself that's why i highly recommend you not only to check out my interview with elizabeth but also my interview on the rest of the collection but today we are gonna look closer at fall into stars and here comes the bottle again i really like it it's simple but very elegant feels heavy it has true golden cap with stars on it which is so fitting for the concept of this fragrance now the perfumer behind elizabeth fragrances is christopher ladimier who is master perfumer and i think um, he doesn't need an introduction and he masterfully works with these pretty powerful materials so each fragrance offers you a very unique experience falling to stars is a story about endless love so it says that falling to stars propels a mystical experience of boundless wonder as lovers transcend the time and space to journey into a parallel universe this dazzling fragrance ignites the smoldering flame of their passion incandescent as a matter shower that lights up the night so on that note let me spray a little bit on myself and uh, get started. So it is a warm perfume. Yes, wood in it plays a very important role. Here we have Indian wood and lots of other woody notes, for example, rosewood. But in the opening, there is pink pepper that smells slightly like fruit. Which fruit? Plum. And do you know what's special about this plum? 
it is boozy. And who doesn't like boozy fragrances? To me, these alcoholy fragrances smell very sexy. That's why I really love them. And I think the boozy element in here comes from labdanum, which is gorgeous, resin with sweet and a little bit herbaceous facets. But there is also vanilla in here and narcissus. Now, it doesn't smell like the real flower. It's not very floral at all. In here, we have Junkwell Absolute. Not sure about the pronunciation, but I know that it smells rather leathery with almost like a green edge. So it's a very complex material that is surely on the warm and boozy side. And smelling it, it's like being in a dark library, drinking aged cognac and reading very interesting book and just dive into this adventurous atmosphere. The fragrance itself is beautiful as you wear it. The sillage of it is amazing, you guys. And you know, it's hard to describe it by the notes. It is all about the emotions and feelings that it evokes wearing it. It is very warm, it is beautiful, the sillage is amazing and it makes me feel really good every single time I wear it. And I wear it a lot because although it's April now, in Germany it is pretty cold as if we had winter. So it's amazing for colder days, it is unisex and it is easygoing oud, which um, you know, is something special because oud, although it is very complex and to me it smells rich and expensive. It can be challenging for some people. And you know what? I really like that Strange Love New York City offers us more daring perfumes, very luxurious and not for everyone. You really need to appreciate these intense materials because in my opinion, Strange Love New York City perfumes tells stories through materials and actually experiencing their fragrances, you can understand um, what high quality materials are about. So on that note, what I recommend every one of you is to check out their official website because I know that at the moment there is a special offer with discounts going on and order their amazing sample packs of perfume oils that look like this and you can actually get them with this amazing pendant. I hope you can see it. It is super eye-catching. It's like extra luxurious accessoire piece and oh my god I wore this outfit out to the birthday and everyone wanted to know if this is a perfume then they wanted to smell it and oh, lost in flowers that I have here is this super powerful intoxicating floral potion that everyone loved and um, well some people had like <gasps> a reaction because they've never smelled anything like it so you'll definitely get compliments if not for the perfume then for you know like pendant and so you can check out their official website for more helpful information link to which i will leave down below in the description box and on that note guys i sincerely hope you enjoyed watching this video it doesn't matter if you are into perfume oils or sprayable fragrances they have it all and they have it all about oud and you will understand what oud is about because natural oud is very different from synthetic and so i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you learned something new for yourself please give it thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel also feel free to check out my interview with Elizabeth on Instagram all the helpful links are below and if you want to support my channel and the release of future videos feel free to donate on buy me coffee website and I am very excited to hear from you so let me know in the comments what's your favorite wood based perfume and if you have any experience with strange love New York City fragrances what do you think about them let's keep in touch and make sure to stay tuned and smell good we'll see each other really soon bye guys